What's going on guys and welcome to the Purgatory Retro channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And today I'm going to be hopefully completing Super Metroid. So as you can see, we're on the switch here. So I already have a suspend point that I loaded in and that is this one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just get the show on the road. We're actually in the last area of the game. Um, I don't know what I'm expecting, um, but just before this, I beat the Ridley boss fight and pretty much almost completely hated every second of it, but it is what it is. I don't know what that is up there. Ah. Well, let's just cheese this. Go right through. Oh, so we do have to take him out, huh? Okay, yeah, so we do have to take him out. Okay, so that is not how I expected that to be. Do a lot of we do a lot of day or they give a lot of stuff. I mean that makes sense. It probably makes sense because they it's almost impossible to get them off of you. There we go. Pretty sure that's the last one. If I remember correctly, yeah, there was only four in this room. So we took care of that. Go ahead and cheese through this. There we go. Yeah, the door is now open. I don't know how to get these dudes off of you. Yeah, I, I don't. I genuinely know, have no idea how to get them off of me. Okay. So it takes a couple super bombs to get them off of you, but they will absolutely drain your health. So. That's, that's a good look. There we go. Okay. So that, that went a little smoother. They absolutely... And now that I know that whole thing, it's not really a huge deal if you get them on you. I would just like to never have that happen again if I can control it. Okay. So. Okay. Wait, I forgot. Oh, this doesn't kill them. Good to know. Alright, time to just completely ignore that room. Uh, okay. I don't want to know how any of that happened. But we'll just move on for now. I say, something tells me that this isn't good. Okay, so. Oh my goodness. How in the hell? Oh no. Wait. Was that supposed to happen? Oh, that was supposed to happen. Interesting. I'm now 1 HP. He just absolutely destroys your health. Go ahead and go into this room, see what we have. Hopefully an energy refill. Oh, it's an energy and missile refill. That's not good. <laughs> so we got a full refill on everything, I guess. Except for our super missiles, which we, which we probably shouldn't have used. 
But hey, I mean, this is my... This is my first time playing through this, so I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can just... Jump, to jump through this room, pretty much. Okay, so down below, over here... But down below here... If there's... We'll just go ahead and make a save point right here. Just be careful about it. Oh, okay, it might be... But like, right below us, actually. Uh, I created this. I created this suspend point, so I don't really need it. Somebody was warning me that to like not save at a certain point because if you do, like you're you're stuck at that like that point in the game. Gosh, how the hell? Oh my gosh, this frame rate. Oh no, that can't be good. Ah. Probably why it made us reload on missiles so much. Yeah, this is that's making more sense now. Really? So many things that can hurt you. Okay, so they regenerate, so you need to do it pretty quickly. Oh wow, we went right through all of our things there. Oh. What the heck? Probably screwed up, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I screwed something up. Pretty sure you're supposed to blow this up, but I don't have anything to blow it up with. Thankfully, because of the Switch online thing... Oh, that's right. You know what? Let's just do this. Thankfully, due to the Switch online, like, thing... Let's go ahead and, like, actually open, like, fill up our missiles. Kinda wish there was a farm spot where I could actually fill up my super missiles. So that I could, I could have more to take into a fight with me. Okay, so we have 90. My goodness. Hopefully we have room to miss a shot or two. If not, we got the rewind feature. This is probably why Nintendo put the rewind feature for their... for, like, the Nintendo Switch Online app. I hate how some things can just straight up block your shot. But, honestly, it's an SNES game, so it's like... What can you expect? Okay, there we go. So we got it. Finally. I, I'm at least glad we could backtrack, refill, and then we're good. But... I'm thinking this is a boss fight, and I only have 49 missiles to deal with. Oh my gosh, this boss does a lot of damage to you. Pretty sure it is like the final boss in the game, so... Is it charge shot, maybe? Okay, so charge shots do do damage. This is probably going to be another boss fight that takes me forever. The only thing about, because I'm actually playing this with an SNES controller, the only thing that's annoying about this controller that I have is the buttons don't like to work sometimes. So I'm hoping I at least... Okay, we got the charge shots on. Oh my gosh.
Okay, so it just stands still and it shoots those at you. Okay. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. Holy crap. What am I supposed to do there? Am I? Do I have to have health to tank the shots? You just kind of have to... What? Honest to God, I have no idea what to do here. Okay, so you just... I guess you just tank it enough for it to... What the heck? So I guess you just tank it enough for it to... That really is it. You just... I guess you just tank it... You have enough health to tank it. I... See, I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. How the heck do I get out of here? I have five health. That Metroid just sucked him to death. And he just leaves. Oh, he heals me! Oh, thank you, Metroid! I think that's the Metroid. If I'm wrong, please let me know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Is he gonna die? I can't, I can't do anything about it. No. No! What? I'm just given all the power in the world! What the fuck? Watch me still die in this boss fight. Yeah, still not, it's not as hard as the Ridley fight though. Like, goodness gracious, the Ridley fight was stupid hard. Let's go. Eat my shorts. So we're just literally God now. What? How the hell? Oh my goodness. Wait, am I actually about to beat this game? I, okay, oh, I forgot I'm God. <laughs> Okay. Oh, isn't there like an option to like kill the kids too in this? I don't know if I'm gonna try to save them. I'm just gonna try to beat this on my first try. Like, just beat this game. I sure hope that two minutes is good enough. I sure hope the three minutes is good enough for a first time player like me. Because there's no way I might actually die doing this. Because I just don't know the route. I might actually die doing this. Good rhythm. Good rhythm. Let's go. How do I get out of here? Oh, good lord. No, what did I... I must have done something wrong. I sure did do something wrong. No, I didn't? Or is this just the game? Is this the game trying to F with me? It really is the game trying to F with me. How do, oh my god. 
How do you get out of here? Even the even the lava's rising. God, this game's like put your platforming skills to the test, kid. Come on, you can do it. Come on, I can do it. This is my first try. First try, baby. I can do it. First try. Goodness gracious. Oh, wait. Wait. No, don't screw this up, idiot. Oh my god. I'm screwing it all up. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be... Oh, this is a disaster. I definitely don't have the time to, to save the children. I kind of already know about the ending. I don't know if I... Wait. Unless I was wrong. I guess I was just wrong. I don't know where the save the kids part. But I'm pretty sure I finally just beat this game. Oh my goodness. I'm, re I'm recording this for the send of my buddy who's an insanely me massive Metroid fan. Oh my gosh. That took me 30 minutes. Did I get out? Wait. Okay, there I am. Thank goodness. Yeah! Yes! The operation was completed successfully. Clear time. Six hours, 41 minutes. I, I doubt that. But... So... This is kind of bittersweet because if you didn't know about this about me already. I never beat an SNES game. I don't think I've ever told people this, but I never beat an SNES game. Super Metroid is the very first Metroid game I ever beaten now. And not even the Mario games. I had Super Mario World and um, the Mario All-Stars, but I never beat those games. I got pretty far, but I never reached the ending. I did it. Oh my gosh, I did it. I beat a Super Metroid game. This is the first Super Metroid- This is the first Metroid game I've ever beaten, too. This was a fantastic game. I- The ending part, at least as a first-time playthrough, I might like it more whenever I play through it again. But on a first-time playthrough, I- That final part of the game, like finding- find, uh, Fighting Ridley, and then, you know, being in that last area kind of sucked. I didn't really... I didn't like that area that much. But this is one of those games is when you get the mechanics down and you start understanding it a little more, you tend to like it a little more. So, um... Like, so far... Like, when I first played this game, I was not very good at it. And I... You can ask my friend, like, he... I sucked, like, at this game, and I gave up, pretty much. But I decided to just randomly pick it up again when I was at work one day. I had my Switch while I was at work, and I was like, hey, I'll just... I was like, oh, Super Metroid, I wonder if my save file is still there, and hey, they, lo and behold, there it was. Here we go. Oh, I don't think I got that ending to where... Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, what? Okay. So there's another ending. I don't think... Yeah, I didn't get that ending to the game. Which is fine. I'm okay with it. But there's the ending to the game to where it shows, like, Samus. Like, her out of her suit in, like, the bikini and stuff. Your rate for collecting items is 48%. Okay. So, I missed a little over half the items in the game. But I beat it. <laughs> and that's all that really matters to me, personally. Oh, crap. That's all that matters to me. Um, and I even beat it with an SNES controller. My buddy l was kind enough to lend me his like little adapter that it connects to your Switch. And so 
I beat Super Metroid with an SNES controller. So uh, I think I think it just stays on the screen until you turn it off. So yeah, that's Super Metroid. <laughs> that's my first time ever beating the game. Um, I'm actually quite proud of myself because I never really stuck through a game like this before. And, you know, I just, it took me about, in total, three days. But let's go ahead and actually um, exit out of the game. You know what? Why not? Create a, sus create a suspend point where my thing is. To my very first completion of the game. Okay, so you can actually check. It said six hours in game time. According to some people, that it's not very accurate. So let's go ahead and check this. Okay, so as you can see at the top, it took me 10 hours and 33 minutes to complete this game. That's, according to my friend, that's actually pretty good. Um, it's also, it's, it's also the fact that I don't, like, I didn't go for all the items. I didn't, like, explore every single crevice of the game. I mostly, like, I did a lot of exploration, but, I, like, I just didn't think to randomly shoot at a wall or something or maybe find a secret item. I did find some secret items to where, like, if I just bombed this corner and I got an energy tank upgrade. So, yeah, I finally beat Super Metroid. Let's go. All right. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And let me know when's the first time you ever played Super Metroid, if you even played it yet. I highly recommend you give it a try. I think the end game is a little annoying, like at least the first time through. But the rest of the game is absolutely amazing. The boss fights are challenging but beatable. And if you're playing it on Switch, really take advantage of that rewind feature like I did. I... You shouldn't be ashamed of taking advantage of the rewind feature because it's that's just kind of like because like sitting there sit there and imagine they took away a big amount of flaws that a lot of people had with SNES like in older kind of games whenever you died and wherever your save point was is where you continued from and you know like with today's technology something like this is a godsend and it really helps um, people who are like me who are entry level in terms of like being new to these kinds of games like i've only ever played mario games and stuff like that on snes so i never played a super metroid game like these games are much harder than the mario games i've played so don't be ashamed if you're if you're somebody who's playing this like wants to play super metroid for the first time one do, do go ahead and give it a go um two utilize that rewind feature if you're playing on the switch um, three, play on the Switch because it's a really nice app that you can have and you can have like suspend points. You don't have to rely on those save points. You can have suspend points to where you can stop wherever you want and the game will continue right where you had it. So um, I'm glad that I had this opportunity to play. I'm glad Nintendo decided to make these little apps and I'm really excited for the N64 expansion. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys in another one. I love you all. Have an absolutely fantastic day. All right, so I'm recording this after I like after I beat the game and everything, and I'm just realizing that I just went through this pretty much a good majority of this game without this. I don't know what it does. I assume it just auto refills your health. Oh, but man, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> but that's on me though. That's like I've been in this little room, but I never thought to come back. I'm like going back and like exploring this game a little bit more and then like I feel like I really should have because here these guys are which I never even thought to ever check this way but here I am about to go back and I guess claim them or something I'm actually so mad oh man there's a bunch of things like this like this little energy tank we don't care about the rewind this could have been very useful as well. And just past that door, this would have been really useful as well. <laughs> hey, you know what? The fact that I went through this game without some items and I still beat bosses, that's still a, an accomplishment to me. I get that I could rewind and stuff, but there's some times where the rewind feature is kind of useless because if you go into a boss fight, and you die, and you rewind, you're just rewinded with that same health 
like the Ridley boss fight, I, I was just better off pretty much like restarting where my save point was and then just going back and fighting him again because that was just the best way of doing it. But yeah, goodness gracious. <laughs> All right, live reaction to another unexplored room. I assume, that, okay, those don't, these might disappear. Okay. Right in there. Okay, go in here. Ah, okay, so another energy tank. This is another thing that would have been really nice to have. Okay. That one's a little cool. That one's pretty cool. It would have been really nice to have, for sure. Okay. There might have been... might be one more thing, and then I'll just go ahead and end it there. I already got the super missiles here, like, uh, not the upgrade, not the super missile, like, upgrade, but you know what I mean. Ah. What a, oh my gosh, what a secret. Really? There we go. Okay, so we got more and more, more power bombs. Pretty sure I've never been here, but yeah. I'm pretty sure this like takes me back to the I need to be. That's why it made me do that. Okay. Ah, and it takes me to this little platform. Okay. Interesting secret. That's really cool. 